Are you hungover? Did you go out last night and you were having so much fun and you mixed all your drinks together and now you're like dying? So don't die. I'm going to show you a soup that you could make to get rid of your hangover and feel like a total new person. Like you didn't even go out. You didn't mix your drink. You didn't drink red wine with tequila and vodka and all of that rum stuff. You didn't. You know, no one would ever know. So let me go. Let's go ahead and I'll show you how to get this delicious Haitian bread soup. So this Haitian bread soup is very popular in Haiti for when people are sick. Usually it's made bland and people don't like it. But I'm going to show you a way that you could make it that it's very delicious. And you won't just want to make it when you're sick. You'll actually make it to just enjoy it. For this recipe, you'll need tomatoes, red bell peppers, watercress, carrots, celery, bread of course, Haitian bread, smoked herring that you're going to have to smoke overnight to get rid of all the saltiness. You'll need fresh thyme, fresh parsley, scotch bunny pepper if you like spicy, peppercorn, and cloves. So, let's go ahead and use the crack your cloves. I am using, I like I said you guys, by now you know, I like to use fresh peppercorn. I don't like the pre-ground stuff because it has no flavor anymore. And for the spices, you'll need chicken bouillon. I'm using loisa sazon and um, some old bay and that's it so first go ahead and soak the bread you're gonna go ahead and cut up the bread in small pieces um well not really small because you're gonna soak it and then once you do that you're gonna go ahead and add water to it um add about two cups of water three to four cups of water actually so you want it to be all covered and soaking So once you have added the water to the bread, set it aside and now we're going to make some dumplings. I love dumplings in my soup but this is totally optional. But like I said, this soup is something you could make and also enjoy. You don't have to make it exactly when you're sick but it's definitely one of my go-to dishes when I'm actually sick and it helps me a lot. And it's quick. It doesn't take too long. As long as you have the smoked herring desalted way before, it's you know soaked overnight it's perfect so for this dumpling all you need is water and salt so I have only one cup of flour all-purpose flour and you'll need about a cup of water and then some salt to taste about a teaspoon of salt go ahead and mix it and start I bring the water to add the water to the flour until it forms a dough and it depends on your it's all about preference when it comes to dumplings I like my dumplings hard so I don't Add a lot of water I always use less water I add water as I go until it gets to the consistency that I like so the less water I add the harder it will be some people like their dumplings soft so if you like it soft so you add more water and then the dough will be a lot softer so if the dough is hard the dumplings are gonna be hard which is how I like my dumplings but if you don't like them hard you like them soft so always add a little bit more water and then get until it forms a dough and then you need it for a couple of minutes and then after that, you go ahead and start shaping your dumpling. You see how the dough doesn't look as soft? So that's how I like mine. Okay? But you can do it soft if you like soft balls, honey. I'm not judging you. Go ahead. Do what you want. Okay? So now we're going to shape our dumplings. I like mine round. I like little balls. Well, not little, but... <laughs> if I'm ever... Listen, if... If it's doubling, I'm always gonna say balls, okay? It's just, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, go ahead and ship your dumpling whatever way you like, but I like mine's circle. So, like a little round little ball. Well, not little, I, I keep saying little. Oh, okay, whatever. Anyways, let's move on to the next step. A lot of people don't like bread soup because some people make it very bland. Back in my country, when you're like really sick, it's just the bread, water, lots of garlic, a green onion, salt, and then that's the soup for you. <laughs> and cloves, cloves of course, because you know, all this good stuff as the medicine. So people don't like it. But I, I also wouldn't like it if it made that way too, you know. But this way, this is delicious. You got all the vegetables, you got the fish in there. Yummy. 
and if you don't have smoked herring you could use salted herring not the smoked one the salted one is also delicious so i love both so for your vegetables you need carrots tomatoes celery bell pepper and onion if you have onion but you know it's all about choices those vegetables this is why like i said this is like a medicine honestly because you having a you're getting you eating a lot of vegetables in there you know even though you see like, the bread and the blumpling little cards but hey it's all about balance so you'll be just fine so go ahead and dice up your vegetables however way you like so i just diced my tomatoes my carrots and everything so go ahead and do that I posted this recipe on my IG, right? People were going crazy. Crazy. And also, one of the Haitian pages, I think, Union Sweet or Fitzes of Haiti, one of them reposted it. And people were just commenting, like, oh my gosh, I don't like this. I don't like that. I'm like, shut up. Like, this is good. It's like, people need to grow up sometimes. Bread soup is not that bad. Like, some people don't like certain things. And I'm like, that's crazy. Like, people who doesn't like my moulin, it's like, ugh. That's crazy. My emulin is so good. Oh my gosh. Like, I'll eat this stuff right out of the freezer. Well, not the freezer, the fridge. Like, uh, people will only eat my emulin if it's hot. Like, honey, not when I make my my emulin. Okay, see, I'm beating my chest. I'm beating my chest right now. So, no. When it comes to my food, when I make my food, I'm not even bragging. Okay, I'm not even, this is not a brag at all. It's just that I make my food really good. So, when I hear people saying they don't like certain things, it's like, Yo, you haven't had my moulin. I have, I, since I moved to Dallas, right, I met a friend and I made my moulin. I invited her to come and eat some. She took the first bite and she goes, oh my God, this is so good. I wish I recorded it. I wish I recorded it, you guys. The reaction, I'm like, girl. <laughs> Listen, I know you see it on IG. Just, just know what you see. It's real, okay? It's real. It's real. It is real, okay? Like, I'm not teaching you how to make mediocre dishes, I'm teaching you good things right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, once you dice up all your vegetables, we're going to go ahead and prepare the watercress. And listen, watercress, you need to wash watercress a lot. Rinse it like three, at least twice, at least twice. But I rinse my watercress like five times because I don't trust it. So to rinse your watercress, you will need lime and vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar, but you could use the regular white distilled vinegar because watercress always, 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 always have bugs in them, okay? They always have like, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, worms. They always have worm, you know, like those vegetable worms and stuff. So this is why I won't eat at just anybody's house. Like, I'm not going to go to someone who's not Haitian's house and eat watercress, honey. When I, I would never do that, ever. So I don't eat at anybody's house because people just know. So rinse it like rinse it like three, four, five times, and use the water, use the lime and stuff to get to kill all these things. Okay. Anyway, so go ahead in your hot pot, add some oil, whatever oil you have. I didn't have olive oil, so I'm using whatever that I have. So like I said, the smoked herring has to be soaked overnight to get rid of the salt, or you can boil it for like ten minutes to get rid of the salt. But soaking it overnight is better because that way you still have all the flavors, you know, instead of boiling it. So go ahead. Add it to the hot oil, let it get soaky for a few minutes, three, four, five minutes. One, two, three, four, five, one, five, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I'm having such a great time in Dallas. <laughs> I love it. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I really do love it. I went out yesterday with a couple friends I met from Mass. Can you imagine this? I would have never met them if I didn't move. Anyways, after your smoked herring got a little twisty, you see how beautiful twisty got? You see how you can see the crisp under? You see that? So go ahead and add your a piece. Add the a piece. If you don't know how to make a piece, I have a recipe and I will link it in the description box below. Please be sure to check it. Go ahead and add the cloves. And then we're going to add tomato paste for color. You can skip tomato paste, but I like the color. So that's why I'm adding it. But it's like, it's an option. It's not required. It's not part of the dish. It doesn't really do much for the dish besides give it a nice, you know, beautiful red pinkish color. But anyways, you guys, I am having so much fun in Dallas, and I really do love it. I I am so happy. It's just that I moved. Things are working out for me, and I'm very happy. I'm excited to see what God has in store for me. So, while I'm still thinking about what God has in store for me, go ahead and add your vegetables, your carrots, celery, tomato, all the vegetables. 
well not so much the tomatoes because tom honestly you could just add all in because the tomatoes sometimes i'm like i'll add the tomato a little bit last because you know it's it cooks very fast but it's still end up <laughs> overcooked so it's just just go ahead and add all your vegetables or you can go ahead and add, add the vegetable add the tomato after like i did here but it's really not that big of a deal because it's still gonna go ahead and disappear once you add it to the to the pot right anyways so once you add your vegetables, what we're going to do, we're going to cover it up. See, I add the tomatoes. Once you add your vegetables, we're going to cover it up and let it let the vegetables steam for three to five minutes. You know, the carrots and the celery take a little bit longer, but I like my vegetables crunchy. I don't like too much. I don't like vegetables that are very, very soft. I don't like that. So just let it steam for like a couple minutes. And then after that, I go ahead and uncover. Look at that steam, beautiful steam vegetable. This is actually good to just eat like this with bread oh my gosh i would eat this with bread right now wow this looks oh my gosh i should make this and eat it with bread y'all this is good oh this is like good for a pate oh my gosh i am so smart you guys right so i'm gonna make this and put it in pate <laughs> uh, this is different though this would be really different so go ahead and add the water you can use chicken stock but this is since we're making a haitian dish don't use chicken stock but if you're not haitian and i get it you want to make some haitian stuff go ahead and use chicken stock but make sure you use chicken stock that has no salt but honestly just stick with water so it can be safe because the smoke tearing even though you soak it overnight for like yeah for 24 hours it could still be a little bit a little bit salty because you have to uh uh change the water like at least three times that's how i do i change my water four times five times to be safe because i don't want no salt in it at all so that way i have control over my flavor so after you add the water, go ahead and add the bread and the dumpling because these are all going to cook really fast. So go ahead and add the dumpling and the bread. And then we're also going to add seasoning. So after you do all of that, you taste it first. You taste it first and you feel like, okay, so now we can go ahead and add our seasoning. Because like I said, smoke tearing, you have to suck it overnight and you have to change the water three to four times. At least three times to be safe right and then so that way you know it's not like too salty but you can always boil it for five ten minutes which you lose a lot of flavor so that's why I don't suggest boiling it I think soaking overnight is a lot better and because we're making fish lemon juice please lime juice please and if you don't have those and you can go to the store go to the store and get it yes and for this seasoning I am using chicken bouillon because why not like nobody ever died from eating chicken bouillon yeah you guys you guys listen to everything the government tells you like stop it a lot of it is rooted it's rooted in racism okay like you know telling you not to use msg asian people live the longest one of the groups i live the longest time but they eat they eat msg why are they dying come on stop 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 like think for yourself okay um i added oregano loisa sazon uh old bay black pepper and then chicken uh chicken bouillon no chicken bouillon and then salt to taste and then scotch bonnet pepper because i like my stuff spicy fresh parsley fresh thyme because that's the haitian way but yeah stop listening to you don't have if you don't want to use something don't use it because you don't want to use it but don't say you're not gonna use it because the government tells you it gives you cancer that the same government that's forcing you to what? let me not even get into this let me not let me not. i'm just showing you how to make a recipe let's go back to the recipe okay all right so after you've done that you go ahead and cover it let it boil for 10 minutes so this is it you see how good it's looking it's supposed to be very thick in the water you can add as much water as you like to be honest i added eight cups of water is it eight cups of water six cups of water so you couldn't add, but when you add the bread, I don't know if you realize, get rid of the water from the bread. So you get rid of the water from the bread. You don't, you don't squeeze it and like do all of that. Just get rid of whatever water is on top and just, you know, and then go ahead and put it in the pot. And then add the watercress. I, like I said, I don't like my vegetables to be overcooked. So once I add the watercress, I turn off my, I lower my heat, pretty much turn off the heat. And then that's it. And cover it and then let the watercress cook with the hot temperature, from the hot temperature. But anyways, like I was saying, yeah, like, like, <laughs> y'all, listen, if you don't want to eat something, just don't eat it because you don't want to. But don't, don't, not, see, I tasted it and I felt like it needed more salt. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt to give it, to make it 
to get it there right so yeah but anyways like stop stop it stop with that and don't ever leave don't ever say things to me like that like i don't yeah i'm not i'm not using plastic over my rice like okay don't do that but don't say you're not doing it because you give cancer come on like please like this, these people know what could kill you they they put it in you every day they force you to eat it and now and, and look at how look at look at, look at, look at health insurance okay and then and then please don't do that please don't don't like i said it's what you want what you like because you want to not because the government tells you anyway so we're adding irish butter because irish butter is the best butter well one of the best butter after you added the watercress lower the heat and then add your butter if you like to add butter because we're making something really tasty so go ahead and add the butter our butter makes everything better so add the butter and then cover it let it simmer for another five minutes and it's such an easy recipe you guys this could be done in like 30 minutes or less and it's really delicious people would say they don't like bread soup and it's like people like this i can't be friends with you and if you don't like bread listen i need you to comment right now let me know what you, how you feel about i want to know about i want to know your feelings about bread soup let me know if you like it or not let me i want to know who i could actually be friends with in real life or not <laughs> I'm just kidding i'm just kidding i won't judge you because it's like it's a texture thing for some people but um i have no i like i don't mind textures but of some stuff too i also don't like the textures so i totally get it i could still be i'll still be friends with you that's fine um but i still want to know i want to know i i still want to know i still want to know like do you like bread soup do you not like it have you ever had bread soup are you gonna try this recipe because I put a lot of time in making these, you know, support me, please. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers in 100 days. So please, support me. Please, I'm begging. <laughs> this one was so good, you guys. So good. And it's like spicy. My friend, she's from Sierra Leone. She loved it. She loved it. It's almost, it's, you know, a lot of food that Haitian people don't like. It, oh, a lot of Haitian, non-Haitians love them. It's so crazy. My Mule, for example. Every time I give it to someone who's not Haitian, they absolutely love that stuff. But Haitian people will be like, I don't, I will only eat it if it's hot. I'm like, get out of here, Mrs. Zuzu, Mr. Zuzu, like, bye. I will only eat it when it's hot. <laughs> but anyway, so this is the recipe, you guys. If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell button. So that way, you always know when I upload. And I'm uploading new stuff now because I moved to... I'm making a video about why people are moving out of Boston, okay? So stay tuned for that. I moved to Dallas, and I am loving it. I'm having so much fun. I'm meeting people. I'm excited to share this with you guys. So stay tuned. Subscribe for more. And um, don't listen to the government. Okay? <laughs> um, I'll see you next time. And make this if you're hungover. Bye.